Well, hey guys, hi, it is Brent Abel here at goldballhunting.com. That dude over there, the great Jeff Jacklich back in Northern California. And today, guys, we, uh, we are really excited because we are opening up a brand new course, a full instructional package for you. Uh, so hang in, in there with us for the rest of this uh, episode because we got something very cool that we want to, uh, that we want to show you. So the big question is this, how are tennis players like us who never played in the tour, weren't incredible juniors, or maybe got a late start to the game, how do we consistently compete at our highest skill level without having to grind through endless hours of encore practice time and still be in the hunt for victory match after match? That is the question, and Gold Ball Hunting gives you the answers by helping you eliminate your skill level range so that you build a strong foundation of confidence. My name is Brent Abel, and along with my biz partner, Jeff Jacklich, welcome to Gold Ball Hunting. Well, guys, again, thanks for hanging out with us today. Another episode of the Gold Ball Hunting Podcast. And Jeff, today, Thursday, October 10th, 2019, we, uh, yeah. I, I mean, we're pumped. We, we got this new backhand volley package that we've been yakking about for, you know, probably the most part of a week. And talking about, at least for me, all the stuff that I screwed up in the beginning where I was just kind of going off of what I'd heard in terms of the old standard teaching cliches. You know, you got to make contact out in front. Well, I took liberties with that instruction. I, I, I got a little bit too far in front. Boom! And the whole punching thing. Yeah, yeah the punching. You got to punch it. You got to punch it. <laughs> and so my backhand volley and my forehand volley were shall we say pathetic in terms of <laughs> and, and wow. we were saying, bearing his soul here's brent bearing his soul today it was pathetic yeah, well okay let's let's define pathetic in terms of my backhand volley two things number one i couldn't break an egg right i could sometimes you know get the right. thing but i was so far out in front like all the power source was done and it was just a doink it was a little a little bunt out oh. there and you know, guys, <laughs> opponents would go, really? That's it, huh? Okay, boom. Um, yeah. And then I couldn't do what I saw the other guys doing, right? I really couldn't make it skid, which I watched the top guys. And, man, they, they, they would make this thing. It looked so simple. I thought I was doing the same thing. But their volleys, man, were just had this little nastiness in that skid over there, stayed low, and... Uh, and so, uh, but thing two that I did that was pathetic is I started teaching it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm still mad at myself for doing that. You know, I, I'm teaching this thing. I'm going, well, yeah, man, you got to get way out in front on this thing. Oh, yeah, and you got to... Well, gotta, you know, misery loves company, right? If I, I got a pathetic volley, <laughs> so should everybody else. There you go. <laughs> so, uh, but then, you know, I got together, I got together with, with, with Mr. Stowe. Uh, fortunate for me... And thankfully for my students, too, and everyone else, since I've been teaching yeah. the forehand and backhand volley since then. But um, I guess the one thing, Jeff, that, that really changed everything for me was, and I know that this may have, you know, you, you probably came out of the womb just going, thank you, thank you, um, <laughs> where the rest of us were maybe not quite so fortunate. But the one thing for me, and I think for everyone, that, that, that anyone's got a good backhand volley is... Less about stroke technique and way more about posture and balance. And out of doubt. And 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 I mean, if you don't have that, which I didn't have, and it really wasn't my fault, I guess, and it wasn't except for the students that I was teaching the wrong stuff. But you know, I mean, we all just get we all just get this stuff like, well, here's the stroke technique, and okay, but if you don't have the right balance and posture, you can throw everything else out the window and so um so that's just, the one thing that really i mean just you know and it, it's kind of a heavy you know sack of crud you got to throw out the window uh <laughs> but i should have been a stand-up maybe i don't know um but anyway i so. love this man you're just like, you're just this is like a therapy session for you you're just letting it out come on all right no brandy go deeper go, go right. deeper okay I will come go on deeper. all out. right fine Fine. If, if, if you're going to charge me for this session, Jeff, then I'll go deeper. So thing one is, or the big thing is, right, you got to have posture and balance and a bunch. Um, and then 
And, and I, I just, you know, you and I have come up with a way better way of teaching the volley that is based on posture and balance. Because once we get our students there, now all of a sudden there's really a, just a couple of steps of how you create consistency, how you create some power off of what looks like right. this guy's doing very little but I don't like it when I give that guy the opportunity to hit that backhand volley because now all of a sudden, <laughs> God darn it, ball's staying low, it's skidding, and I don't have anything I can really do with it. So you and I have really come up with something different, something unique in terms of combining the stroke technique that actually is, is so much more simple than what you and I see out there, but getting, yeah. but getting our students on, uh, on balance, number one. I think, I think the second thing, Jeff, is that um, I, I had the, I, I was lucky to get with Mr. Stowe, and and when I first went up there to see him, I really didn't know if anyone was going to be able to help me with my backhand volley. <laughs> I, I really didn't know it. I mean, I, I just you know I tried, and I I sort of been sort of trying to do a, a, as a DIYer, a do-it-yourselfer, and uh, it wasn't working because I was getting further and further out in front. I was getting further off balance and uh or out of balance and so he really um he started with that thing with me and and so for me eventually and i i think i've told the stool story where he just said look um do this and he just he just sat me on a bar stool right there in the tee feet were up on the run and <laughs> and just fed me some easy balls first couple of balls i fell off the stool because i was doing the old brand able method of volleying and he just kind of looked at me, you know, like, like, like a dog looks at you when they kind of cock their head, right? And right, kind of, the, the RCA dog. <laughs> kind of go, really? Huh? huh? I, don't, right. I don't think that's really what you want to do. And so he just told me to wait, right? He just said, wait. And, and sure enough, and from there, I finally, I had this major epiphany. One of the major epiphanies in, in, in me sort of becoming the player that I am, which was on that moment when I realized, you know what? I can learn this thing. This is way much easier than I thought because he's put me, he's put me on balance. And right. uh, you and I have been this week sharing stories about students and, and kind of our own epiphanies. And, and really, if, if you've been struggling, and I'm not talking to you, Jeff, I'm talking to the audience. If you've been struggling with your backhand volley, it's the classic thing. It's not your fault because there's so much garbage instruction out there. You know, whether it's way yeah. back when, whether you were a student of mine back in the late 70s, early 80s, my apologies, garbage <laughs> instruction, garbage in, garbage out. But uh, the stuff we see on YouTube these days is just horrific. And, yes. and so it's just super confusing out there. Um, yeah, I, I, I saw one of these the other day. The, yeah, the yeah, extender. Yesterday, or or maybe, it might have been this morning. Actually, it was this morning. I was shuffling through and I, I wasn't really looking for it, but it just it popped up in the feed and I went, what? Wow. The extender, the extender ready the extender. position. Extender. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Well, there, I, you know, I taught that too. So my, my apologies yeah. for that. Well, um, you know, I mean, like, like I mentioned yesterday in the, in my little blurb to get people to, you know, see yesterday's episode, I, I, you know, I, I said, well, well, what we, what we have here is a little, a little misdirection and sleight of hand, <laughs> you know, it's just literally yeah. sleight of hand. Yeah. Yeah, because wow. I think I think sometimes you know the 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 instructor himself, the pro himself, doesn't always doesn't always really have a grasp of what they're doing. Is they they think they're they're actually using the same term when they hit their volley. They're saying punch, but but the action is not descriptive as to what they're actually doing. You know, so I think I think it's it's just a you know here's a word. It's a cornucopia. Of, of misinformation and misinterpretation, which really makes it just, you know, Yeah, yeah. well, look, I think I think there's there's another thing that students, the players have been taught is you got to close on it. you got to close on this ball. And, yeah. and and everyone's interpretation of that is just to reach with a hand first. And I thought they were spelling it C-L-O-T-H-E-S. you got to close on it. <laughs> oh, you got to put close on the ball itself. All right, well, okay. <laughs> so you're dressing up the volley. That's cool. Um, so guys, look, I mean, this is not something that, that, I mean, this is really not reserved for just the best players out there. And, uh, and then, and then the other thing too, I think is, um, a lot of players feel like, well, anytime they, they sort of take on a new way of looking at a stroke and, 
and they're sort of intrigued with it, um, and they're pretty well convinced, yeah, you know what, I could probably do that. But man, Jeff, I don't think I've got the time. I mean, isn't this going to take just hours upon hours of drilling on the court to to kind of get it? And and for me, that was sort of my initial thing with, with Mr. Stowe, on, on, literally in the stool, and he said, well, after, after I hit, you know, maybe five or six, uh, sitting down, he said, stand up. Because those five or six, I was going, God, man, this feels great, but am I going to be able to do this in the next... Because I'm looking at the other right. guys over there, and they've already got it, right? I'm looking at Kinger, right. I'm looking at Stefanski, I'm looking at Hubs going, these guys are top five, and they're making it look like like you come out of the womb <laughs> going, thank you. And I'm just sort of thinking, this is good, this could take a while. And then he just said, stand up. And when I stood up, he said, just remember the word weight. And I stood up, and all of a sudden, I could just, I felt it again, not sort of artificially sitting on the stool, but like I was actually playing and I knew from right then and there, if I if I could do a little bit of work, it wouldn't take a ton of time. And uh, and sure enough, I mean, look, I mean, he he within eighteen months, he got me from pathetic to literally winning my first gold ball. And 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 that yeah. was in doubles, where a backhand volley is kind of important in doubles, right? And and I'm not saying that. Look, if you guys. You know, if your goal is not to win a gold ball, that's cool. I totally get it. But uh, it's just a heck of a lot more fun to be able to have a pretty good backhand volley where you can be accurate, where you can actually give a little zip with some power, and you can make that little thing skid over there. And, man, is that fun. That is just totally. like, it's just a blast. <laughs> So, look, guys, well, what we've got for you is um, starting today, and we've got this offer. Jeff and I put together kind of a ridiculous instructional package that um, I don't think we're charging enough for, but we're going to give it a go anyway. Um, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Jeff. Um, so, look, we, we got this. We want everybody to have it. We want well, everybody to have it. I think a lot of players go, well, why are you guys charging so little for this package? And well, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to kind of list the package for you what's in it. But it's really, I think, it's, it's what we talked about before. There's so much misinformation out there that we want to kind of clear the air. We'd like to see more players actually be able to execute backhand volleys um, the way that they, they kind of dream about it, the way that they want to. Um, and I think the reason it's priced so low, rather than just giving it away, is because, in my experience, when I give something away, no matter how big or how small it is, it just seems like players don't have the incentive to really dig in. And especially if, if, if something right. comes up where it's not like, you know, a quick fix. I think, you know, if, if players pay at least something, if they've got a little skin in the game. Yeah. It just, totally. it just has sort of a, a different incentive in terms of, of working through stuff. So those right. are really the reasons why. And I, I would say the other reason why, too, Jeff, is that is if we can help players get a real tangible result with that backhand volley, well, look, if there's something else going on with their game where they need help, I want them to think about us as yeah. like, I'm going to stop going to YouTube and kind of looking for the free stuff, which hasn't worked, and I'm going to start looking for these guys, which actually gave me a result, whether it's singles, whether it's doubles. Um, so that's, I think, that's another reason. I'm not going to call it a selfish reason why we want you guys to get a result, <laughs> but we do because we want to continue to help with the other parts yeah. of your game. So look, here's, here's what we've got for you today. Uh, in this package, which is available starting now until uh, Sunday night, which is October 13th at 11 p.m. Pacific. Um, so we've got, we have two master classes for you. First of all, we get the back end a volley masterclass, which is really three simple steps of how do you get on balance? How do you get the posture? How do you get the feeling for that? And then what is the stroke? And a lot of players think, man, this thing is well for underspin. It's got to be high to low. Eh, not really. Not really. Not nah, quite. And so that's probably some of the stuff that's been thrown out there too. Well, you got to hack down. Eh, no, you don't. Um, so we got a master class that will show you three simple steps, how to really get the feeling of being consistent uh, with your backhand volley, how to get a little zip on it, and how to make the ball skid over there. 
and really start taking advantage of those offensive opportunities that we all get in both singles and doubles. That class is nor normally $97. That's the full retail price for it. Uh, but what the other thing we're going to include in the package is going to be the forehand volley. Why just give you the backhand volley when, gosh, I mean, sometimes you do get a forehand. Well, I give you half half the cow, right? right. Take the whole thing. <laughs> let's, let's, let's get the whole thing. So the forehand volley master class is the same thing. How do we get you on balance? How do you actually impart that, that underspin, that backspin that gives you accuracy, that gives you some power and makes the ball skid over there? And let you, again, take advantage of uh, offensive opportunities in both singles and doubles. That is a $97 course. So the next bonus uh, video training that we've got for you guys is, is, is for doubles. And that's for when you start up at net or you eventually work your way up, up at net. But let's say, for example, Jeff, that, uh, you know, the service partner, right? And there's just so many opportunities up there for them to... to um, be able to contribute to winning the point. However, I think a lot of players get up there and it's one of two thoughts, either, gosh, I hope they don't hit it to me. Or right. if they do hit it to me, God, think of all the potential targets over there. Right. And really what we've done in this training is we've taken the mystery out of when you're up at net and doubles, you got three targets. There's only three targets. Yes, one, two, three. And if you know what they are, then depending on the type of ball that's coming to you, towards you, now all of a sudden you got clarity. You know exactly <clears throat> right. what to do with a ball that's up high, that's a ball waist high, or maybe down below, down below, depending on where you are at the moment when you receive the ball. And so right. uh, that is also a $97 course. And then the other bonus we've got for you is <laughs> how do you play the nasty low skidding forehand slider approach oh my Slide. word and slippery little thing oh and it gets down and someone's digging in the dirt going well what am i gonna do oh i see i've got an inch over here up the line oh i see i've got an inch over here across court <laughs> oh i see i've got an inch over the top of the guy's racket over there i see okay it's not a great. Uh, it's not no. a great thought by. And usually, opponent. what they what they end up choosing is uh, let me just give the guy a big fat sitter volley. Okay, <laughs> if it goes back <laughs> over the net, right? So um, <laughs> this is a this is really sort of a a class in. I, I, I think that it it doesn't go against topspin because when I first went to Mr. Stowe, one of the things he taught me was how do you take that 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 approach shot opportunity on your forehand let it get to the top of the bounce so that you create the good geometry and hit that thing pretty flat and come in. Well, there's yeah. definitely, there's definitely a time when you want to do that, but there's also the time when you want to play the slider approach. And, and not only for what Jeff and I described how you can make it skid and stay low, but boy, oh boy, when you've shown that thing a couple of times and the guy starts to back up to try to let the ball bounce up so he's got a little space, and you go, huh, sorry, dude, here comes the dropper. Um, <laughs> it's like you can see you can see the the deer in the You're headlights right. over there just go, <laughs> right. I am so screwed now. What what am I going to do? So, what am I going to do with that? That's what am I going to do. Not much. Anyway, so that's a bonus training we've got. So everything in there, that's a $97 course, $388 in value of the uh, two master classes and the bonus courses, $388, a one-time fee, one-time fee, a one-time charge of 37 bucks. What are we doing? We're giving away the house, Jeff. We're giving them away. We, can, we can't help ourselves. <laughs> guys, Brady if you want to... back and I said, make it 37. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so look, guys, if you want to take advantage of this opportunity, to get your backhand volley, get your forehand volley, right? Start to know what are the three, the only three targets you need in doubles when you're up there at net and how to play the nasty slide, slider forehand approach right down below. With If you're on YouTube right now watching this episode, there is a link. Click it. But you got to click it before this Sunday night, October 13th at 11 p.m. so you can take advantage of this offer. If you're on iTunes, Stitcher, Right down below in the show notes, same deal. There's a link. 
And if you still can't find this thing, well, then go over to goldballhunting.com and uh, right at the very top of the page there, there'll be a little, hey, dude, here's where you click. Here's where you get inside the course. And uh, we're looking forward to helping you guys. So, Jeff, on that, um, how do we want to end up uh, today's episode like we always do? <clears throat> Yo. Like us. Yeah. Share us. Please subscribe. Let us know what you think down below. iTunes and Stitcher. Rate and review. And, you know, since you're at your computer, just like I said yesterday and the day before, goldballhoney.com. Send the link. Share it. Your doubles partner needs help, too. Come on. Don't you want to be a better doubles team? Share it with them. Where are you getting all this cool information, dude? These guys. How do I How do I make him stop? Can you tell me, please? Oh, okay. <laughs> guys, thank you so much for hanging out with us today. We really hope you take advantage of this backhand volley instructional package offer that we've got for you. Guys, get out there today. Help someone else have an incredible day. Jeff, let's do this again tomorrow. Can't wait. <laughs>